So in-game expeditions are the ultimate place to farm those legendos. There is no question about that. It's the place everyone wants to get to and it's this game's current true end game. I have had hundreds of people ask, what is the best expedition to farm and play? And well, that's quite simple. This expedition is by far the easiest. You get plenty of time to get that gold and it rewards that juicy loot too. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So over the past week, I have seen many, many more people ask about expeditions. What's the easiest to run? What's the easiest to get gold on? And for me, in reality, there's only one that comes to mind, which I believe is super generous in terms of the time it gives you to get that gold. And at the same time, it has the easiest enemies to fight too. Now I am closing in on 300 expeditions. I'm probably at about 50-50 in terms of solo and in a team and within both instances the same expedition comes to mind to farm. So if you are at the end game stage and you want to farm higher loot, you want to farm legendaries, you want to progress up to a challenge tier 15 and unlock Eye of the Storm but don't want to be rushed for time in terms of getting that gold, you don't want to sweat and just want to chill, well the answer for sure is simple, Archways of Enoch. Now it's quite easy and I believe most people at the end game stage and uh, have been here for a while will tell you the same thing. The Archways of Enoch is just super generous in terms of that time frame to complete it and get gold. You have 15 minutes and 57 seconds and that is more than enough time for sure. The great thing about it also is the majority of the enemies don't fire at you besides the odd annoying ugly ass butterfly type moth fingers. Everything else here is relatively easy. Now what I would suggest you doing at the same time is trying this solo, as it's just way way easier than trying to run it in a team. Yeah for sure you get revives in a team and in a squad, but enemies are scaled up to a point where it becomes tedious if your build isn't perfect. Now once you get to those expeditions, when you complete the main game campaign, don't even sweat the goals out as that's pointless until you get up to probably around challenge tier 10 and upwards as the gold is only really required to unlock the 15 and the Eye of the Storm challenge tiers. So if I were you, I'd take my time, farm resource parts, level up gear and progress through these challenge tiers, easy via selecting the Archways of Enoch. If it isn't there when you look, simply travel to another camp and check again. Now we know Boomtown and Kemplant have had their times adjusted to make them, well, harder runs. This is due to people and their speedruns. But the good thing is for now, Archways hasn't been affected by this. But let me tell you people, if people can fly, do go ahead and adjust times further. Archways is getting it. It's definitely getting it. I reckon the time here will be reduced by about 3 or 4 minutes. And that's not even a joke. Maybe even more. So I'll do this while you can. Another bit of advice I'll give you is don't rush up those challenge tiers thinking it's clearly important to get to a challenge tier 15 and getting those done on gold as in my opinion challenge tier 14s and even 13s are considerably generous too. I mean even if you've got a challenge tier 15 unlocked but still struggling there, drop it down to a challenge tier 13. You'll storm gold and I mean the differences between a 13 and a 15 ain't even that crazy. Now I see many people on social media stating that they are struggling to progress past the current challenge tier. Like I said, if this is you, that's fine. Drop the challenge tier down a couple, farm resource pods, use those pods to either upgrade or buy higher level gear and progress this way. People seem to think they can rush into a higher challenge tier even when they have it unlocked and think it's going to be a walk in the park. A lot of the time this is not the case. Now in terms of builds, if you are struggling for ideas and just can't create something that works, there are many many ideas all over the internet. A lot of builds which also don't require too many specific items, so you can change them up to suit the way you play too. And while that's what this stage of the game is all about, it's about learning, building and progressing. Don't think you are behind because you are struggling right now, play the game right and you will soon catch up. And yeah, and that's it guys. In my opinion, the best way in doing this, once you get to the end game stages, is doing it within the Archways of Enoch Expedition, as it's by far the easiest in my opinion, the most generous in terms of time. And when it comes to getting gold, I mean, I'm currently clearing it now, four minutes spare, and I'm not even rushing through it. I know there are people out there that can do this in seven minutes, and that's what I mean by how generous this is. And another point towards this as well, all my trickster builds are based away from Twisted Drowns, and that top tree, which is the DPS tree. 
and even then I'm storming through this expedition on a challenge tier 15 and getting gold real easy. And while I only die when I do death things or the game screws me over which I'm guessing with all and happen one time or another. But yeah guys, in my opinion the Archways of Enoch is the best expedition to progress your level, get gold and earn those legendaries. And I'd say do it solo at the same time just to make it easier. I mean think of it this way, a lot of people will prefer to play Boomtown or Kemplant and struggle to get gold. Yet they can run this in literally 10-11 minutes and guarantee gold so you may as well take an extra couple of minutes longer, run Archways, forget about Kemplant and Boomtown and guarantee yourself that gold and that loot. It is really as simple as that people. But yes, for anybody who's just got towards that end game, want an easy expedition to farm, to earn those legendaries and earn that gear, in my opinion, Archways of Enoch right now is the best to do so. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.